I represent my families on my grandfather's side and my grandmother's side. My grandfather's side is Eastern Aranda. So that ties up about 200 kilometres of the Central Australian Railway line. You've heard of the GAN? Mm -hmm. Yep, you like being tourist on the GAN? Well, that's where BHP is going to bring a one kilometre train up through the Northern Territory, up to Darwin. One kilometre, twice a day, through the centre of our town. And like you, Mom, our railway station is in the centre of town. So when they stop and have a break overnight, we have a one kilometre train full of uranium in our town. And it's a really good train because it tips over when you get to Darwin, so if you just like pour out its uranium, then it can go up a conveyor belt into a boat to go overseas. The problem with the Northern Territory is it's our bush. It's not near your capital cities, it's not where most of the voters are. So really you don't care unless you want to buy an Aboriginal painting or you want to see Central Australia in Uluru. Well, in order to see Central Australia in Uluru, you will pass over that track several times on the highway. The Northern Territory Emergency Services don't have any equipment to clean up uranium. <laughs> None whatsoever. And we found that out recently when a cyanide smell fit spill happened on the Northern Territory Road. It was closed for two days while they got the equipment over from Mount Isa to clean it up. Now we've been fighting against the nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory for six years. It still hasn't gone through, it still hasn't passed through the Senate and blah, blah, blah. We're still waiting for Australia to make up its mind where it's going to morally put its waste. Because apparently Australian government's got morals. <laughs> India proves that they don't have any morals. So next time you want to take a trip up to the Territory, please catch the game because whatever we get, we want to share with you. Because this is where the shareholders live. And you might know from the dust storms that you get, they come from South Australia, they come from Western Australia, and they come from the Northern Territory. And on our small little island, because we are just an island, we get to share it with you. And when I'm dead and dying of cancer, well not dead yet, I'm still dying of cancer, I'm coming down to you mob's beds. I'm coming down to your hospitals, because our hospitals in the Territory won't be able to look after me. So if you're in there dying of cancer too, I'm going to give it to you for every vote that you voted for for this Australian government. Because what it does to Indigenous people, oh, I hate that word, what it does to me as an Aboriginal person is it sets me up for the next 5, 10, 15 generations that my children and my unborn grandchildren have to fight against this dirty waste because it's not happening near your city. If that was to put a uranium mine on the outskirts of Melbourne, I can be damn well assured that Melbourne would jump up and down and have the numbers to march against it. But when we march in in Alice Springs, you mob don't get news coverage. The only time you get news coverage is if our Todd River flows. And guess what? That goes through the centre of our town too. Now the Northern Territory has been tied up with uranium mining. Our politicians have already been to Japan. They're willing to sell it. They're happy to sell. And as far as they're concerned, they're going to squeeze blackfellas off of their communities and into the mining industries. And if we don't, we won't be on welfare payments. So instead of building infrastructure on our communities, we've got 50 communities and our stations being closed as of next year. We don't have extra houses built in Alice Springs to accommodate my family from my communities. We don't have that. But apparently you might think that's okay because you keep voting for the government. And it says to me every time that we have an election that there's not one person on this coastline that is voting with any integrity, any morals, because the genocide of our people is still happening. They're just doing it politically now. In the old days they could shoot us and I can take you to massacre sites. I can take you to the waterholes where they used to poison us. But now, in the Territory, they're using words like normalising us. Because apparently I'm not normal. I'm going to be like you mob. But I don't see a difference. The only difference between me and you is I have connection to my country, I have culture, I have stories, and I have family living on their land. And every week we've got mining companies coming in looking for uranium. When my daughter is buried on country, on my country, 
I was told six years ago I'd have to pay a passing nuclear waste dump in order to put flowers on her grave. And if it's good enough for me, it's damn well good enough for every woman and mother in this country to do exactly the same. But once again, I'm one vote in the Territory. The biggest amount of voters are here on the coastline. The biggest amount of shareholders, the BHP, are here on the coastline. And you've got that little cute saying up here, um, if it's not in my backyard, it doesn't really matter. It's like so cool if it's in the bush. Well, I live in the bush. These mob live in the bush. Donna goes out bush. <laughs> this mob live in the bush. And you mob like holidaying in the bush. So whatever's dug up on country, it's going to come back and bite you tenfold. And I'm going to be in that cancer ward giving it to every person that ever voted in this country and wanted to be a citizen of this country because you don't have the right to take my life or my unborn grandchildren's life. And you don't have the right to use the resources like our water in the Northern Territory like you've used and abused your water down here. No rights at all. Now when we go to meetings, we're told for one, because they have to simplify it for us blackfellas, because apparently like we were really dumb and didn't go to school. So for one Toyota full of dirt that's going to be taken out of the mine, it's one Toyota full of water. That's all. Well, that's not good enough, because we only got rainwater. Or we've got a bore that goes down in the ground, and we have to share that water. Now, my family that is sitting at tea tree, because there is a rare mineral earth mine going ahead at Nolan's bore, and, oh, there's uranium there as well, and we better dig that up to keep them all safe, because they're really good at keeping us safe. They've just run out of water, because the mine has taken it all. So a community of 300 people have to wait for a truck to be filled up with water in Alice Springs, driven 80 k's up the road to be dropped off to them, so they can wash their babies' nappies, so they can wash their babies' faces, so they can drink water. Now, if that's acceptable, I'll go along with you, Mom. But I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be really angry. And my problem is, is I won't pay off my hex bill and I'm highly educated. <laughs> and I'm forcing my kids, and I've just had two finish grade 12. So I'm bringing up educated blackfellas with an opinion and with a right to vote. Now, if this country keeps doing what it's doing, this little island that we've got, it's going to dry up, because we're the driest continent in the world, and the dust is not only going to travel through Western Australia, through the Northern Territory, through South Australia, but we're going to get you, Mom. We're going to get you back if you don't stand up now, because time's up. Fukushima was a, should have been a good wake-up call. It should have woken up this world. It did in certain countries over in Europe where they said, OK, we're not going to do this and we're going to kind of phase out our 30-year-old reactors in Germany and things like that. And we get told about world's best practice. There isn't anywhere in this world where mining companies use world best practice. It's a statement they throw out to you voters so you feel all cosy and what are them blackfellas jumping up and down because they're always jumping up and down about something. We jump on up and down for a reason. Because my kids might marry your kids. And if my kids' DNA is changed, and my grandchildren's DNA is changed, and we have babies with you, Mop, because we keep intermarrying, how screwed up are our kids? What future are we giving them? <coughs> so time's up. No more mucking around. BHP has to burn to the ground, and we have to wake up because this island is going to get smaller and smaller and dirtier and dirtier and you're all going to be thirsty and you die. Life. <laughs>